So to actually have a few days training in, in a smaller environment um, and, and actually with a smile on your face has been really enjoyable for them. I think about the pressure of a fixture every sort of 72 hours. And, and we have literally had to hold them back today um, and, and, and probably the same again over the next 48 hours to just to calm them down before a boxing day because they've played at that intensity the whole time. Um, but it has, it has been good to get back on the training pitch, I've got to be honest, um, and, and just, just maybe just come away from that that um, the demand, the demand that a fixture that puts on, on on everybody, mentally and physically. It's known as the busy period, the Christmas one. So, um, yeah, we don't get much time off. We've been tra- training all week. We're in tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, like you said, Christmas is a spe- special time, but we don't really get much chance to celebrate it because uh, all our focus is on the game on boxing, don't we? But we know Brentford are going to be a good side as well. Um, and we've seen Stoke recently, Watford recently, good sides. Um, so we, we expect similar firm for Brentford. Um, what I expect is, is my group after a week, a week's, um, I wouldn't say refreshment from um, um, you know, a busy schedule, but having a quieter week, I expect to see more legs in my team this week. The team, we've been on a good run. I know we had a disappointing game against Swansea and then on the weekend as well. But five five wins out of seven, I feel that any time in the championship season is good going. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we can complain too much of the way the last month or so has gone. And then, yeah, from a personal level, I feel like I think three goals and four or five assists at the minute, which isn't too bad. But, yeah, I'm, I always want better and want more for myself. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the second half of the season can produce that. I think I'll, I'll, I'll have a look on the 2nd of January at 5 o'clock after Rotherham, how many points we've got for the games we've played, presuming presuming we complete our fixtures up till then. Um, I'll, I'll look at that and and I have a, a total in my mind where I hoped we would be by now. I certainly had a total in my mind after the first 10 games where I hoped we would be. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll assess it then. But compared to where we were last year, we're in a good place. Um, and... Um, you know, that consistency will be vital that, that we, we put a, a run of games together, probably hopefully slightly quicker than we did last season. We wait till right to the end. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you get into the top two or how you get into the top six, more realistically for us, how we get in our top six. As long as by May the May the 8th, we're there. We're there. And um, we, we saw it last year. We, we got there two games to go. Swansea got there in the 98th minute. Um, at their game, okay, neither team quite made made it to the, the next level, but you know that, that that's the ultimate aim is on May the eighth to make sure we're in that top six. Vokesy and Keith and people like that have made like my, uh, me coming to Cardiff a lot easier. Knowing a few a few faces has made me uh, yeah like integrate into the squad um, a lot a lot easier. And then yeah, like you said, to be able to uh, achieve promotion with Cardiff um, and then go on to the Euros with. Yeah, with the fellow Welsh lads, it would be a that would be a fantastic season.